everybody, this is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and today I am here with a make the cut video for you and I've got a really fun quick little project that I'm going to do here today for you. Um, it involves using some of the one of the node editing tools here and make the cut. So first let me explain kind of what we're do doing. I bought a canvas from a local store. It was on the clearance rack, so I got it for a few bucks. And it's already pre-designed with the keep calm and carry on phrase that we've seen all over the place and has become very popular. And I bought it because it's got a turquoise background and white letters. And that works perfectly in my craft room because I have the white and the turquoise. But I also have, of course, purple. I can't not have purple in my craft room. So I've decided that I kind of want to personalize this a little bit and make it um, more something that is, um, you know, just kind of screams Denise. So that's what we're going to do here today. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to make it look like I erased part of the sign um, and substitute my own word in there for it. So here's what we're gonna do the word that I want to make it look like we erased is um, the word carry and I'm bringing in a rectangle here right now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here to make it look like I'm erasing that word off of the sign I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to resize this to kind of fit over the word that I have first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my aspect ratio is unlocked which it is and I'm going to put in a rectangle slightly larger than um, the size of that word on the canvas. So there we go. Now I'm going to move over to my node editing tools. And to get to them, I'm going to click on this little button here. It's in the upper left hand side of your screen. It's right under where it says default page. It looks like a um, figure eight with some blue dots in it and when I click on that that opens up my note editing tools I'm going to select the eraser tool which is right here it looks like a pink eraser and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, figure out what size eraser I want to use the larger the number in here the larger your eraser size and I kind of already played around with this earlier, so I know I want um, a 7 millimeter size to start with. And now with my mouse over the rectangle here, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing in here, erasing the middle section of this rectangle. Now as I'm doing this, I'm probably not going to talk too much because I want to make sure that I'm not erasing over any of the bounding edges of this rectangle. And you'll see why in a little bit. So here we go. Okay, so there we go, and you can see that when I released my mouse, it took away that entire middle section of the areas that I had erased. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in here and just do a little bit more. I don't want to take out all of these little sliver sections like this one I'm going to keep, um, because I think that it kind of adds a little bit of uh, personality to it, so I'm going to kind of create one right there. Um, maybe I can do that a little bit better so it's not quite so jagged looking. But I want to kind of, uh, yeah, I might just take that all out. I just really want it to look very kind of distressed looking. I don't want it to look too perfect. So you kind of see there where I have that. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this out of white vinyl, but instead of using the green section, I'm going to use this white section. And then I'm going to um, put a word on top of this, also cut out of vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you how I'm going to add the word here so I incise it so that it looks right. I'm using the P Hurry Up Back 
font which you can get from the Kevin and Amanda blog. I'll have a link to it on my blog so that you know where you can get uh, this font as well as lots of other great fonts. Um, they make all of their fonts based off of um, real handwriting so that's what I really like about them. So and I'm going to put in the word eCraft. And I'm going to just kind of play with this until I get it to a size that I like. I think it can be even bigger. I kind of like that it might take over some of my erased area, actually. And I think I'm going to just elongate it a little bit. Since it's based off of real handwriting, you can kind of play with it a little bit more than you do in a different font. Now I see here that the E and the C are overlapping here, so and I don't want these to cut as two separate letters. So I'm going to go ahead and split this and then weld it so it becomes all one piece right there, which I did successfully. And I think we're about ready to go ahead and uh, get this cut, so I'll be back um, to show you a picture of the final product. Um, but this just gives you another example of things that you can do with uh, designing things in Make the Cut uh, for cutting on your e-craft. A lot of fun and took a kind of a, you know, humdrum sign that, you know, everyone sees all over the place and it's really made it like my own. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. This is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and I'll see you next time. Bye now.